Breaking news, the National Women's Soccer League announced today punishments from its joint investigative report released last December. Thanks for joining us and good evening. I'm Michelle McConaughey. And I'm Dan Haggerty. Pat Welter joining us now in the studio. Pat, you're here to explain how this might affect the North Carolina Courage. That's right, Dan. Former Courage coach Paul Riley has been banned permanently from the NWSL, and the team has been fined $100,000. Now, Riley was fired by the Courage in September 2021 after allegations of sexual misconduct were made by former players. The NWSL joint investigative team looked into systemic issues across the entire league. Riley, one of four people banned, several others were suspended. Six teams ultimately were fined. The Courage told WRL they are aware of the penalties and are forming their response. NWSL Commissioner Jessica Berman said via statement, the league and its clubs have taken meaningful steps to begin this structural reform and understand and accept the continual commitment to enhancing league standards that are necessary to build a safe and positive environment for our players, staff, fans, and partners. So we are going to be following this developing story throughout the afternoon and this evening. We have a full story up on WRALsportsfan.com if you want to know more details. All right, we'll check it out. Pat, thank you. Oh, what a move. Luber throw. The excitement of the National Women's Soccer League hid an ugly truth, verbal and emotional abuse, and sexual misconduct. Today's report says they were systemic, spanning multiple teams, coaches, and victims. It says the abuse is rooted in a deeper culture starting in youth leagues, normalizing verbally abusive coaching and blurring boundaries between coaches and players. The investigation led by former acting U.S. Attorney General Sally Yates interviewed more than 200 people. It says players described a pattern of sexually charged comments, unwanted sexual advances and sexual touching, and coercive sexual intercourse. The athletics Meg Linehan first broke the story of abuse. Did the silence enable the abuse here? hundred percent. The silence absolutely enabled the abuse, but the silence enabled the cover-up of the abuse for, for about a decade as well. No one, the report says, not the teams, the league, or U.S. soccer, acted to respond to or prevent the abuse. As a result, abusive coaches were allowed to move from team to team, some even thanked for their service. Today, U.S. soccer president Cindy Parlo Cone called the findings heartbreaking and deeply troubling and promised to address the recommendations, including publicly identifying individuals disciplined, suspended, or banned. At last being open about a culture of abuse. Ann Thompson, NBC News.